6'9", finally gets caught lacking at LA Fitness. This is just crazy for me, right? Because for me personally, I always thought, I thought 6'9 was untouchable. 6'9 got out of jail in 2020 after snitching on his old gang, the Treyway Bloods or whatever. Ever since he got out of jail in 2020, he's been outside and he's literally been untouchable. Here we are, we got him in the streets, throwing out mad money on some Mr. Beast shit. I'm surprised nobody really tried to rob because everyone always saying, oh, 6'9", he can't go outside because... He snitched and all this other type of BS. But here he is. He outside throwing money. This dude literally walking around outside with money, not getting touched. And I know you're going to be like, oh, security, security, security. Well, duh, no shit. I mean, what rap, who, what celebrity, what famous person you know don't got security? And besides, even if you got security, the security guards ain't bulletproof. If they really want to take down 6 9 they better get a sniper or get a hitman or some shit. There ain't no excuses. Here he is at the club, lit, still untouched. This dude even pulled up to old block, untouched. They said if he pulled up here, it was over, but he still pulled up was there talking shit, making videos, untouched. He even poured out some liquor for all the dead Chicago soldiers. The, the, the hospitality here is crazy. Now I don't want to hear no excuse about people talking about some, oh, I didn't see him. Ain't no way in hell y'all ain't see him. It's broad daylight, sun shiny as hell. On top of that, look at the colors he's wearing, bro. This dude, he's wearing these bright ass colors. There's no way you can't see him. There's no way you don't notice him. He look, he look like a damn watermelon. This right here might be the most disrespectful scenario, right? We got 6 9 pulling up to O Block again. I just gotta say, how many times has this guy pulled up to O Block, bro? This is like his fifth time. This is like the fifth L for O Block, bro. This dude's pulled up mad times talking mad shit and ain't nothing happened. But anyways, he goes to O Block and pays his respect to Lil Dirk's cousin, Nooski, who passed away. Now, this is just wild. This foreigner pulled up to y'all homeland talking shit and mocking all y'all dead soldiers. So y'all gotta slide. Y'all have to slide. I mean, like, there's literally... Something needs to be done, right? Like, this is the type of shit that you can't come back from. Like, sitting down, talking about it, that's not gonna fix it. Like, niggas have to slide, bro. Like, something has to happen. I gotta do something. Some form of retaliation. I mean, you Chicago people, right? Y'all some killers, right? Y'all some demons, right? Y'all in the streets clapping all y'all ops. Y'all got bodies on bodies on bodies. Y'all stacking up these Call of Duty kill streaks, right? If that's true, y'all should have been had a UAV by now. Call that shit in and find this man. So after all that, in my mind, I personally thought 6 9 was untouchable. I mean, because how do you go to all these places and not get touched or bothered or pressed or anything? I mean, this guy's been everywhere, bro. This guy has been in the club, the streets, stores, boats. You see what Andrew Tate, this nigga in Croatia? This guy's literally been all around the world untouched. It was really coming to the point that I was just thinking, like, nobody was going to bother 6 9 Like, he's straight. He's just another celebrity. But 6 9s three-year streak of walking around this earth untouched finally came to an end when he was working out at LA Fitness. He at the gym getting his body right. Unlike most of y'all, most of y'all got some fat, lazy fucks, pieces of shit. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing in your free time. I just sitting there watching watching TikToks, watching videos like me and shit. Go do something with your time, man. Go hit the gym. Why is 6 9 at LA Fitness? I don't know. I have no idea. He probably thought he was untouchable too. Besides, it's better than being at Landed Litness, that dog shit gym. Allegedly, he got jumped by members of the Latin Kings gang. If you don't know Latin Kings, they're one of the biggest Hispanic gangs in the world, founded by Puerto Ricans, if I'm not mistaken. Fun fact about me, I am black, but I'm also Puerto Rican, but me no hablo espanol, so them niggas probably not fucking with me. So all y'all black gangsters, this making y'all all look like pussies, right? I mean, because how, how y'all start out with the beef with this guy, but then some Hispanic people come and they actually do the sliding. They actually do the straightening. They did all the dirty work. Out of all places, the gym is where he get caught lacking at. This guy was literally in y'all city, in y'all town, making videos on y'all block. Y'all don't got watch guards watching y'all block and teach y'all ops pull up? These dudes found out that he was at LA Fitness and pulled up his lid. That easy. 6 9 wasn't even looking for these guys. 6 9 pulled up to old block looking for y'all untouched. How 6 9 go somewhere looking for trouble, don't get touched, but he out somewhere else looking for no trouble and still got slid on. Like, that's wild. They really beat 6 9s ass. Like, oh my God. I would show y'all the video, but I don't need my video getting taken down. But I'm sure if you go and search up 6 9 again, jump to tons of videos. But they gave him some straightening for real. Just look at him. This dude got fucked up. I mean, God damn. This dude looked like he just lost his first fight in the octagon. Dude looking like a Dragon Ball Z character. Mid-fight. The ass whooping was so bad, they had to take him to the ER. This wasn't no amateur jumping. No, they got the top Latin King Hermanos to beat this guy ass. They got the top Latin King Demons to slide on this guy. I don't think y'all understand just how serious these Spanish amigos are, man. Like, for real. We talking about some six foot four, 280 pound, big, hefty, hefty, hefty motherfucker. Like, these guys are big as hell, guys. 280 pounds of straight Patron tequila. Motherfuckers walking around with a big, bald ass head, tattoos on a skull. Like, no, that's wild, right? You shaved your head, and then you put a tattoo on your skull. Oh, nah, you got it, amigo. You got it, papi. I, I want no beef. I don't want no beef with you Spanish motherfucker. Hell no. You got it, Poppy. I got tattoos all over my body, pulls right by my head. Bro, that's your, that's your brain. That's your skull, bro. I can only imagine how badly that hurts. So the fact that these guys are out here walking around with goddamn tattoos on their skull. Nah, you got it. You a demon in my eyes. You got my respect in my eyes. Like, that's, that's really some gangster shit. You can't fake that. You can't get a tattoo on your head and be a bitch. This had to be a near-death experience for 6 9 Because right before he got jumped, he was on the Stairmaster. If you don't know what the Stairmaster is, it's, it's a cardio exercise where you're walking upstairs. And let me tell you guys, that shit, woo! 
That, that takes up a lot of energy, a lot of stamina. If you fat, you want to lose some weight, you should hop on the Stairmaster. It's going to get you right. You're going to be on that shit sweat. You might, you're probably not going to be up there for 10 minutes. So think about it, right? This guy is on the Stairmasters for God knows how long. So we can already say he's fatigued, right? On top of that, he got this big ass black puffy coat on, which is making it even hotter, taking more stamina from him. So even more fatigued. This guy's at 25 HP. Then right after that, he goes into the bathroom to get jumped by the top Latin King. Hombres? How's he still alive? This guy got to be the main character. Despite getting jumped, 6 9 says that he does not need security still. He don't care. He went three years without getting touched, right? So maybe he'll go another three years without getting touched. I don't know. I don't know if this source is true. As you can see, it's from some uh some rap, whatever. I don't know. That nigga, his sources, he's, he's kind of shaky. I don't know if he really said that, but if he did, 6 9 I'm giving you my energy. 6 9s baby mama also came out and said that him getting jumped was embarrassing for their daughter. I believe personally that that is just a clout statement, right? Because 6 9 has done a bunch of things that could be considered embarrassing for their daughter, right? For example, going to jail. Ha ha, your dad's going to jail. Ha ha, your dad's going to drop a soap and get fucked in the ass. Snitching. Ha ha, your dad's a snitch. Ha ha, everyone's making fun of your dad for being a snitch. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's mad stuff that 6 9 has done that could make his daughter a victim of bullying, right? Like, and honestly, I, if we're being honest, bro, I feel like the snitching thing is worse than getting jumped. I feel like people can make way more jokes about you snitching and you getting jumped. I mean, it, it's, both are L's, right? Both are L's. But I mean, at the end of the day, this kid is rich, right? Like, honestly, who cares, right? Like, I mean, like, if my dad is rich and he and he do some dumb shit and he get clowned for, like, I don't care. You guys are on Section 8, welfare, food stamps, all that bitch. I'm here fucking balling out in Beverly Hills. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really care. But then again, now that I think about it, kids are mean as hell, man. I'm thinking about my kids, so, oh my God, I would have had a field day with this. There's another post that said the 6 ix out in some foreign land. 6 9 he did the dash. He did the dash right out of the U.S. I, I can't blame him. The U.S. looking hot from right now. He can't be in the U.S. right now. I don't blame him. I would have did the same thing. Dude pulled a breaking bat and just left. I don't blame him. The U.S. is too hot for him right now. It's not looking good. He got to stay low, keep his head down. Got to recover, bro. Like, get that nigga a sense of being or something. I'm wishing 6 9 a speedy recovery. I'm hoping he comes back with a Banger, maybe make a diss track, right? Make a diss track to the Latin Kings, but that shit would be heat. Breaking news. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Hey guys, so I was literally just about to upload this video, but then I just got smacked with more information. Turns out the people that jumped 6 9 were arrested, and their names are Rafael Medina Jr., 43, Octavius Medina, 23, and Anthony Maldado, 25. I don't know if I messed up on y'all names, if I did, lo siento. But as I predicted, these are some pretty big amigos right here. They got the bald head fat ass beard they definitely got some weight on them okay they definitely got some skin in the game it looks like two of these guys are actually related right so that can actually add on to why the ass of them is so powerful right because since they're twins since they're related they have strong chemistry you know like maybe they're putting together some twin combos on some android 17 and 18 type shit not that it even matters that they got arrested because they got bailed out right after so all you folks at that la fitness y'all best keep your head on the swivel this gets even crazier because it turns out one of the attackers wives made a gofundme for the attackers and i'm just confused what is the gofundme for is this some undercover recruiting for the latin kings not that any of this matters to 6 9 right because he's officially in cuba he literally just dropped this spanish song called bori i can't tell you a single thing that any of these gentlemen say in this song but i mean but it does sound good okay like would i go around the hood blasting this on my ox probably not if i was in cuba maybe but if i'm driving around the trenches nah i'm probably not somehow 6 9 still takes a w from all of this right let's break this down first he gets jumped at LA Fitness and gets clowned for it, which is a L, right? But then he goes out to Cuba and becomes the Cuban Superman? Like, yo, what the fuck? This guy saved Cuba? Look at this guy. This guy out here giving money on some Mr. B shit. Again, this guy's walking down the streets. He's looking like the damn Hokage, bro. He's looking like the Hokage of Cuba. If you ask me, the W definitely outweighs the L. 